There are four important properties of a liquid to make it a suitable material to be used to make a thermometer. The liquid must have a high coefficient of thermal expansion so that it expands notably when temperature changes. And it has to be sensitive to temperature change so that it responds to temperature changes quickly. It must exist in the liquid state for a wide range of temperature so that it can measure a wide range of temperatures. And finally, it must expand linearly with temperature so that one unit of temperature change will correspond to one unit of volume expansion of the liquid. Well done! So I'm assuming that besides mercury, alcohol is another suitable liquid for a thermometer? Yes, alcohol is used in liquid and glass thermometers as well. It has all the four properties as well? Not all the properties. It has a much lower range than mercury as it boils at a much lower temperature as compared to mercury. I see. That's why you can't use it to measure if you have a fever. I doubt having a fever would raise your temperature to 78 degrees. But when you're having a fever, you feel like it's 100 degrees. Seriously? Oh, I'm kidding. But what if you want to measure something that is really high in temperature? For example, temperature that exceeds the boiling point of mercury. Then we will have to use a thermocouple instead of a liquid and glass thermometer. A thermal... A thermocouple. What's a thermocouple? This is a thermocouple. It is an electrical device that consists of two electrical junctions at two different temperatures. The difference in temperature will produce a voltage. So the device has two ends and these two ends are put into an environment with two different temperatures? That's right. Why would the difference in temperature give us a voltage reading? And how does the voltage indicate the temperature that it is supposed to be measured? Well, the device makes use of the thermoelectric effect to convert heat into electrical energy. When there is a difference in temperature, the difference in heat energy from the two junctions in which the thermocouple is in contact with will give a voltage reading. The voltage is assumed to be linearly related to temperature difference. But it only measures the difference in temperature and not the exact temperature, right? Well, usually one end is preset to a known temperature, for example, zero degrees Celsius. And the other end will then be connected to the unknown temperature. Since the voltage corresponds to a certain temperature difference, we can use this knowledge to find out the unknown temperature. Hmm, I'm still not clear about this. Let's have a look at this diagram so that you can have a better understanding of how a thermocouple works. The voltmeter measures the voltage. The cold junction is kept at 0 degrees Celsius and the hot junction is used to measure the unknown temperature. Hmm. Oh, I see. I understand it now. And you said that the voltage is assumed to be linearly related to the temperature difference, correct? Yes. So if the thermocouple gives a reading of 5 volts when the temperature difference between the two junctions are 50 degrees Celsius, then it will give a reading of 4 volts if the difference between the two junctions are 40 degrees Celsius. Hmm, that's simple enough.